From the winelands of Stellenbosch came one of the best all-round wings South African rugby has ever seen. He will always be remembered for his guts and determination in scoring tries, on one occasion with a broken collarbone. Young Peter Engelbrecht. His speed and guile left defenders groping in his wake and he never gave up. It was sheer determination that finally earned him complete recognition. Today, he still remains the only Springbok to score more than 100 points in tries. You know, Jaren Stellenbosch in the varsity is actually uh, the place or the occasion which we use to uh, discriminate between the ordinary player and, and the footballer. And uh, Jan Engelbrecht played, he played here at Pearl Ruiz and he, he made a name there for himself, but a different thing at school and university. But we, he played the third team for us in one intervarsity. And he just ran through the Ikes. He ran through. And I said, there's a springbok. And that was really the first time that I'd seen him in action in that company. And we uh, brought him up. And uh, with his terrific speed and swerve, and you should have looked at that, those eyes of his when he, when he played. They were just like two spots there. As he focused for one place on one place, and that was the goal line. And that was where he aimed at that goal line. And he had the swerve with the long by, by the upper body. He uh, could throw the body to one side and push off to the other side and he made his man that way. Springbok wing Gert Muller played with and against Janni on many occasions. Dr. Craven also remembers Engelbrecht's tolerance of pain. But Janni, as I said, was a very cl uh, clever player, especially his side steps. And of course, uh, coming in, into the back line uh, from the blind side, and you as an uh, opponent playing against him, had to sort of uh, had to watch him all the time to see wh where he was, and of course his his tackling w wasn't uh, wasn't bad at all either. Uh, he could stop a, a big man, and uh, he, he was uh, overall a very good, uh, clever player. He yeah, was young able to selected to play against Scotland, and he had a shoulder, and I believed in those days in strapping. So I said to him, go and try out your shoulder and uh, come and tell me what, whether you can play on Saturday. This was Tuesday, I think. He came back and he said, no, I can't play. I said, what movements can't you do? I said, let's cut out those movements by strapping your shoulder up. And I did that. And I said, now go again and try everything. Which he did, and he came back and he said, I'm all right with the straps on. I said, all right, I've got an executive meeting in Port Elizabeth where you'll have to play, but I'll have to do the stepping so nobody can see you and see us stepping you up. And that would look bad if I, as president of the board, step you up. And uh, for why? I must, I must, if you could, didn't last the match, then uh, it would have been my fault. Anyway, and we, there we sat. And the, the, the executive meeting lasted a long time, and he peeped in at the door, he knocked on the door, he peeped in, and he just peeped in. I said, gentlemen, excuse me for a while, there's something serious outside. So I went and I stabbed him up, and he lasted. But where did this dedication and determination come from? I think mainly I enjoyed my rugby. Uh, I maintained that I could, all my injuries, I could rectify them, I could get them healed by hard training and uh, I enjoyed the game so much and I think another factor which plays a very important role in my rugby career was Dr. Craven. He insisted every time after I had an injury I must come back, I must play again. And he helped me tremendously. He was like, a, I would say like a, a second father to me and I just couldn't let him down. And I, many times I said to him I'll only stop playing when you tell me I'm no good anymore. Hawthorne, Hawthorne, a half break. He's pulled down there. It's Oxley now. Oxley with a nice break, giving it to Gainsford there. Gainsford now back to Dirksen, who's come inside. Dirksen up over the halfway line. A beautiful pass there now to Engelbrecht. 
Can Engelbrecht get this? Briscoe after him, but Engelbrecht a very fine try after one of the best combining mo movements we've seen in this game so far. From another line out, the ball goes along to Gainsford, who draws his man perfectly. Then passes to Engelbrecht, who shows in this, his 25th test appearance, that he's still capable of scoring for South Africa. Doga getting up a tremendous height, but Pouget in real trouble from the Springbok back row man going through quickly. De Villiers out to Rue. That's Dutin. Henry de Villiers waits. Bongero was up. That's a break by Rue. Rue trying to feed his man outside him. Only fear. Carried on there by Dupre. A great chance for Engelbrecht. Can Engelbrecht get there? Oh, Dupre is with him. But Engelbrecht is going by himself. And it's a try for Engelbrecht. See little Sid Nomis, number 13. Absolutely delighted there. Watch it again. Now there's Dupre, the big lock forward. Pitzer, the hooker, was in as well. It was Pitzer's pass to Engelbrecht. Now see, this is Engelbrecht. He's still got 10 yards to go. He had Dupre outside him. But Dupre sensibly got out of the way and left Engelbrecht to go over by himself. So is the first match of the South Africa's forespeelers for Baas. Frug Dupre, out to Piet Uys. He comes to the achterlijn. No more snipe for him, but he will be in the trap. And then is Piet Pesazzi there. He gets the ball up and and as Piet Pesazzi in besit betrap word, is Piet Greiling los voorspeler van Zuid-Afrika met die bal voor sy voete. En bijna bijna is hier punte voor Zuid-Afrika, maar is Australië wat bal gooi op hulle doelijn. En as Greg Davis dan uiteindelik die bal daar in die handen krijg, probeer hy uitgeef voor een doeskop. Maar Jannie Engelbrecht wat in sy 33ste toetswedstrijd speel, bars weer, val op die bal en vir hom is dit een groot oomblik. Hy evenaar die toetsverskynings van center John Gainsford, namelijk 33 keer voor Zuid-Afrika. En vir hom is dit een mooi drie hierdie. Laag sak die skram is Piet Uys aangooi en Piet Versace die bal in die handen krijg. Nou is daar weer breek. Hy voer om hier die achterlijn van Evan Olivier aan Manniekies Roo. Manniekies Roo ver uit na Jannie Engelbrecht. En Jannie Engelbrecht die man wat in sy 33e toetswedstrijd speel. Druk sy tweede drie en hierdie keer onder die vale. 